I spent all morning working on this thing. Well, it wasn't even my intention. I, this was a nice quiet Sunday and I was just gonna clean up a few section and then ended up with this big thing being pulled out. Um, as I was pulling this big one out, I, I ran across these smaller ones. And this one here in the water is off of the uh, first smaller one but it looked like the root took off or something well this was so small and the soil have come off so I figured I better put it in water uh, by tomorrow it might uh, push it over the edge and it might be dead and I rather have the smaller one than having to deal with that humongous thing um, only reason I'm doing it is because I wanted that area cleaned up actually Dale was supposed to clean it up and he screwed up and took the wrong plants so I'm here working on these um, I don't really want any more big ones he did but he took the wrong plants and I'm not gonna give him another one for making a mistake so anyway I gotta work on it tomorrow or day after depends on how my body is reacting so hopefully I have the energy tomorrow to work on this if not it'll be uh, Tuesday and if not then you'll never see this video because I would have chucked this whole project the new morning and we're gonna get started on this today I put this cover on last night so the soil wasn't gonna dry out too badly uh, the one in the back are sitting in water but I didn't want to get them all muddy so I just put a cover on this and it should be fine uh, I'm gonna start with this part because it's relatively clean versus oh the big part it's gonna be a one messy job so anyway, let's go ahead and get started with this. Okay, what I see on this one here, this is a main line, right? I could go this way by cutting this off, but I think the better line is going this way and then going up and then cutting it off here somewhere. And it's a little bit tall, but I think it has a nice kind of slender but an interesting clean line this way it kind of goes out that way I'm not sure uh, I like to keep it short but I think on this one I think we're gonna have to do that like that so I'll go ahead and cut and then I'll show you if I was right or not okay changing plan going up this way and then go with that line I think it has a really nice flow to it. Now, I keep these as a stub. I'm gonna let it grow back and then go back with a sharp tool and recut this probably next year. So, this one here is probably a sacrifice branch. We'll see if there's a bunch of stuff that grows out of here. I'm just going to see how to get this into a container. Most likely it will be cut off here and find a container that will uh, house this. Okay, now this has a nice, really good sweeping line. So now all I have to do is find a container. One thing about boxwood, they do this, very fibrous roots, so that uh, it's very easy to transplant. Uh, chance of failure is very slim, right? Now, these big ones is not what we want to keep. It's these fibrous ones. They're the uh, workers of the, the plant, right? So, anyway, I'm ready to put this, I think, in here. I don't want anything that's big. Remember our aging process? So, actually, this is probably fun like this. So, something like that, it'll fit. It's still manageable in terms of size and weight. So, I'll go ahead and get it planted. 
Okay, I got it, potted. Uh, it might be a little bit deeper than it could be, but you know, a lot of times we do this for stability, and then we'll go ahead and expose more maybe in another year or two. Okay, but this one has a nice, really good, clean line, and look at the taper. I think this is going to be a good one in about three. So always work on a nice clean main line. Okay, I'll get to the next one. Okay, these the soil fell off last night or yesterday afternoon, so I kept them in water. Now I'll get this out of the way and get started. Okay, this one should be fairly straightforward. Uh, we're gonna go with this as a new apex. Then make this in side branch. This is too long. So, and then I think this is eh, maybe not dead. See, so now we got a cute little tree. Well, it's a good thing I made this extra wheelbarrow full of soil. So just kind of go in there, make sure these roots get spread out and don't put too much pressure on these delicate roots, right? Okay, that's about it. Then get to the next one. This one's got very good, uh, interesting roots. I'm just going to make this a side branch. And you know what, I'm thinking, going very dramatic, I could go up this way. Something like this, that's more normal. Or I could go like this and be very dramatic. Ah, oh, what the heck, let's go dramatic. <coughs> well, I'll get back to you with the right tool. You know, if I really wanted to, I could cut it off here, this cuts one plant, and then uh, this one becomes another. But I don't need any more boxwood, so I'm just going to, well, in fact, I'm not even going to cut it off. I'm going to leave it on there, uh, see what happens. But I'm going to plant this as one. So what I see is this line going this way, this going up this way, uh, I'll cut this off after this gets stronger, so it gets cut off that way, and then go that way, and then that way, and that way. So yeah, uh, n next three years is going to be interesting. And then hopefully this will get uh, leaves along the bottom, and then we'll do something with that, or take it off. Okay, and then we got this guy. So try to take off the native soil. Just rake it out, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, then we kind of trim up. Remember, uh, if you root prune lightly, it stimulates the growth. When you cut severely, it stunts it. Keep that in mind. Well, these are gonna be stunted somewhat because it's been harsh. <laughs> uh, well, I used the tractor and dug it out. Not that carefully either. Okay, so we got this guy here. Sometime it's a separate plant, but this one looked like it just started to grow on the base. So I just find a container for this and ready to go. I guess I'll keep this a double trunk for now. Shorten that up. And then I need a new apex. Think about here. And then this one's gonna require some uh, regrowth.
Okay, so this is what I came up with. So I left the stub and tie this. And what we're going to do and not do is to prune this much. We want this to flush out, get really big, try to make this uh, branch that's going to become the trunk to get thicker faster. So that's the master plan. We get this really big and then we'll get the new apex out of it. But first of all, we got to get this to fatten up. So this is looks like a three to five year project. But, you know, I don't try to rush it. We're trying to look for, or we're trying to create a good workable material. So we're working on the material state now. And then later we could start to make it into more of a good bonsai rather than a mediocre one by hurrying it up. Okay, so this morning we made four of these. So this came out of the big batch that I dug out with the tractor yesterday because Dale was supposed to dig this out and he screwed up and dug something else. But anyway, uh, I'm going to say goodbye on this chapter because I think the bigger part is going to take uh, much longer than these. So anyway, uh, we'll call this part one and then we'll get to part two next.